Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, and I'm going to be putting deck profile up for my Kagaru deck that I recently finished and used in to participate in World Championships, though I modified it afterwards. Um, the Seattle qualifiers was pretty good. I mean, I only made it to the third round, but I think I did pretty good, and my team did. My team went, went really awesome. But uh, here's my here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my uh, Kagaru deck, and hopefully. This thing is going to get me a lot of wins in our local tournament. So, rate and comment. Tell me what you think. Alright, hold on. Alright, so... Obviously, my mat's pretty cool if you guys like it. I drew it myself. It took me a couple hours. Alright, my the first card that I have is, of course, the starter, Conroe. He's pretty good. I mean, he's, he's really broken. If you can search for any grade 1, and if you really need it, you can use them to search for a perfect guard if you need it. If you have already have 200 grade 1s or a couple grade 2s or whatever, and you don't really need the bar that you usually search for or, or anything, get a, get a perfect guard. Um, I run 4 Wakshasha, uh, Critical Triggers, 4 Blue Way Draco Kid. And of course, four tar for the 12 crit rush. I love it. It's amazing. But I'm thinking about putting two, maybe a couple out for draw triggers. I'm not sure. But I love the 12 crit and I want to keep with it. And of course, the standard four heal triggers. Pretty legit. I mean, it's my trigger setup. 12 crits. Everybody loves it. Next, I have my grade ones. I have one Gojo. I find him kind of useless, which is he's only at one because Airmo is just so much better anyway. I run one Kimnara. Against certain decks, he's useful, but I fight a lot of Gold Paladins and he's pointless against them because I want to use cards that will try to get rid of Criff as, as quickly as possible, which is why there's Berserk Dragons. I run only two perfect guards. The reason for this being is my deck is spaced around rushing for damage, so I don't like grade... I don't like perfect guards stacking up in my hand. I really don't. So that's why I only do two. Maybe three if I can afford the next one. But maybe. I'm just going to run two. Next, I have two Aramo. 6k, you know, if the attack hits when he boosts, um, you can dish a card to draw. Pretty good. Four Iron Tail, 7ks. They're useful, and their effects are good. And in, in my Kagro deck, they're just as good as Bar because the 1k difference doesn't really matter. And of course, the 4 bar. 4 bar, 8k, vanilla, standard. Next, I have 2 Berserk Dragon. Channel Blast 2, Retire, Great 2 or less. Pretty good. 2 Tejas. I just recently added these deck in replace of uh, my superior interceptors. Berger was a pain in the butt. I like that it, I gave him the extra thousand for guarding, but I like the fact that I can poke at the gr grade ones in the back to uh, annoy my opponent. So I, I replaced those with these. Next I have three Garp 10k vanillas and four Nihalem. I wish I had the alternate art, but, you know, it's whatever. The f So that's 7, 7, 10Ks. Makes perfect for my rush. Now to the grade 3s. 1, Dragonic Overlord. In the rear guard with the Lawkeeper deck, he's really good if your opponent is already rushed for 4 or 5 damage and they have low minimum cards in their hand. You combine Lawkeeper's skill with Dragonic Overlord's skill in the rear guard, 
that's that extra five thousand really makes a difference, and they cannot guard it. And getting a critical trigger or another trigger, it's just it puts them at a di such a disadvantage with that extra five thousand from his skill. Two arch dragons. They're uh, they're really good, but only two because, like I said, with Overlord they're only good in the rear guard. You do not want to ride them, and their skill is really good. So with bar behind them, they'll be a twenty-one. And of course, the boss card: four law keepers. The main grade 3 that you're supposed to ride in my deck. He is the Limit Break Camera Ass 1 where you bind all your opponent's units and if they have 5 they have to get rid of 1 after calling them all back. And he becomes a 20 or 21 K beater with uh, either Bar or Iron Tail behind him. There's not, there's only that slight, you need that slight dis, uh, difference with Bar if their uh, Vanguard is an 11 K. But other than that, a Iron Tail is really good behind him. Other than a bar, and you save a bar for your rear guards for that extra boost, just in case you need it. And there's that. That's my Kagura deck, Lockkeeper build. I'm going to play this a lot for a while until December, where I'll be switching to Ember Dragons. Hopefully that that switch will be good for me. All right. Thank you, and have a nice day.